Hey everybody, my name's Tyler Watson, your Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor. This is Tour Time with Tyler and welcome to North Ranch. Let's check out this model. But again, before we do, right here is the link to my free mobile app, completely free to use, only works on phone, and you will get homes sent directly from the MLS. You'll get it before sites like Zillow and Realtor.com. Let's check out this one. So, we are over here in the northeast i just want to spin really quickly so you can see the mountains over here pretty much almost as far northeast as you can go right now they just keep building and building and building but really quickly if you want to see new homes if you're con uh, considering buying a new home make sure to call a realtor if you fill out information online or you go into the model speak with the associates and sign up just a little fact the associates actually work for the builder they have their fiduciary responsibility to the builder and they do not represent you so if you want representation and fun fact as the buyer the builder pays the commission you don't give an agent a call all my contact info is down in the description below really love this little sitting courtyard and again really quickly so this is a 55 and older community you can see they have like nine different models up here they have three different collections this one right here that we're going to be looking at today is the solitude this is 1657 square feet two bed two bath two car garage you also get the den and the covered patio now this one starts at 369.90 now do me that huge huge favor and hit the like button it really does help out with the youtube algorithm make sure to subscribe now coming in Again, since it is an age-restricted, active adult, 55 and older community, every single home in here is going to be single story. And this one, you get the den right here too. Really cool. So, I love how much natural light's already coming in here. One big window that opens, you have the three uppers right there. Now, a lot of these windows may differ just a bit depending on the elevation that you get. This is a nice office. Or you could do a library, you could do a study, you could do like a little man cave she shed. Really nice. I like the desk. Just wanna come over here so you can kind of get an idea of everything. Now, these homes range anywhere between like 1300 square feet up over 2000 square feet. So they have a wide variety of homes. Now do note, even though this is an active adult community, you can have you know grandkid, uh, grandkids or children over. They just can't live with you. They can stay with you here and there. They just can't be like running around in the street, like playing baseball or rollerblading, that kind of thing. And also FYI, you can buy into an age restrictive active adult community. Even if you aren't 55, you just have to have HOA approval. So keep that in mind. HOA here is about 198, I believe. It's just under $200 or a month. You have your whole community pool and all of that. They did the uppers here. So these are 100% an upgrade. They even did the lower right here, the little folding table. I really like this. They have your whole washer dryer. And right here, in case you don't know, this is our smart panel. So you put your modem and router in there and then it puts out the internet connection, all of that kind of stuff throughout the home. Now I did speak with the sales associate and she informed me with this collection, people are spending anywhere between 10 to 15% all in, including the lot premium, including everything. So think somewhere, you know, three, 36 to 45,000 in options, upgrades and our lot. Really, really well priced. You even have the whole community center, pool, bocce ball, all that good stuff. So I like this. We have our drop area. We have where our two car garage comes in. That door goes open. And what you could do is you could put a little bench here. So, you know, kind of your mud room, but more mud space. Nice. And then again, right from the garage into the kitchen. We'll check out the kitchen here in a bit with the living room and all that good stuff. But right here, we have our first bath. Now, they did quite a few options and upgrades. I'll point them out. But again, 
I'm guessing it's gonna be slightly upgraded since it came with hardware. These may be a standard, not entirely sure. They told me anywhere between 100 and 180 on the models. So we have an overmounted sink. This is gonna be your standard uh, countertop, standard glass, and then you get the nine foot ceilings, eight foot doors, and then they did a shower in here and they upgraded it. I really like these showers because we have our little soap shelf. Now this is like a cultured marble type material, which is really nice because there's no tile. There's no grout lines. There's a couple seams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's no scrubbing grout, which is awesome. They did the fiberglass pan. You can actually upgrade to curbless or zero threshold and just walk right in. You don't even have to step over that curb. You have your toilet. It's actually a really nice size bathroom. It's wider than normal because there is even a little bit of space over here, maybe a little six or eight inches. We have our towel rack and then we have a linen closet in here. And you could even go higher. So coming out of that bathroom, again, two car garage right here and into our first bedroom. This is a big bedroom. This is a really big bedroom. That could be a queen. That looks like a queen size bed, two nightstands. You have the one window and it's a very large room. And plus with the nine foot ceilings, it does feel bigger. They even did can lighting. One, two, three, there's one just right above the camera. I'm impressed with how large this room is. I've shown homes where the master suite is smaller than this. We have our dresser. This is great. <laughs> I know I was just in one of these same collections homes and the tour will be coming up too. The bedroom was decent size. It was actually pretty good size, but this is so much bigger for your secondary bedroom. Plus this one, you get a den. So again, two nightstands. You can even see there's like a good foot on each side. They're doing a three closet slider in this one. Really nice. Let's go ahead, let's head on through the kitchen, living, dining to the master suite and then we'll come back. I do like this though. It's just so open. So let's go find that second bedroom, that master suite. Again, do me that huge favor and hit the like button. Also make sure to subscribe. And if you have any questions whatsoever, please give me a call. All my contact information down in the description. Nice size bedroom. King size bed, two nightstands, the bench. I mean, there's whew, seven feet here, maybe more than six feet here to the bench, to the dresser. There's a good amount of space. You could do, I almost would do like two chairs, like reading chairs and a little like, like table, little round table, or even a big chair over there. There's a lot of space right here. Now they did the slider in there and they even upgraded the slider in here. Normally you're gonna get a window here, like a picture frame window. Oh, there we go. You could see the clubhouse is right there. It should be done in a couple months, but they're gonna give you the covered patio. I don't believe they give you this portion. This one is gonna be an option. They give you that half and then you can extend it all the way down. But when you buy new, you need to budget for the backyard. All of this minus the pavers and everything right here is going to be an optional upgrade. Now, average backyard is somewhere between 12, 13 to $15,000. This one is a little bit smaller. So you should definitely be able to stay within that 15,000 mark unless you really, really like put a lot into it. So just keep that in mind. When you're buying new, you need to budget for that backyard. So coming to the master suite, I love the fact that they actually have a door here. I'm guessing it's an option though. Nice bathroom. So separate tub, separate shower. This is optioned up. Normally it's gonna be fiberglass composite. They even did zero threshold. So no fiberglass pan, that's all tile. They have stone all the way around. Right here we have our shower head, our valve, and a really nice bench. Like, this is huge how thick this is right here. <clears throat> Cause you even have space for soap and shampoos on this side. Now, this makes me so happy to see privacy glass. Oh, I don't know why some builders, they just do that clear. 
you can see right on into the tub. And I know I joke about it being Vegas and putting on shows, but love the fact that it's privacy glass. Nice, big tub, really big tub. And I just want to point something out. It doesn't matter if you're buying a model or you're buying just a home from them. Make sure when you do your walkthrough, I don't know if you can see that, it's just the caulking needs to be redone. So make sure that you look through that. You need to walk through. I also go through all of my walkthroughs with my clients and I point out things to the builder. I want the home to be perfect and you should too, especially it doesn't matter how much you're paying for it. Make sure to look, make sure to point things out. Like even right here, I don't know if it's gonna show. Just a little bit, just needs some more caulking. So definitely keep that in mind when walking through, when you're about to take delivery of the home. Nice countertops, they did the undermounted sinks and then they just did a huge sheet of glass. And we have a medicine cabinet. No more and more builders are getting away from that. If we spin around, we have our toilet. And I wanna keep spinning really quickly because this makes me so happy, this makes sense. The towel rod is near the shower door. <laughs> it's just those little things right here, coming into that master closet. And I like this, this is standard. You're gonna get bar and shelf, double bar and shelf. You have all these little cubbies for either shoes or whatever you wanna put in there, even handbags, some people like to display them. I know my fiance does. <laughs> We have double rod and double rod. So nice closet, nice bathroom. It is a little bit smaller of size, but the rest of the house is so much bigger. So it's a very nice bathroom. It's a really nice bathroom. You just know sometimes I show off these houses that you could put a bedroom inside of the bathrooms. <laughs> so coming on out. And again, I just want to point out something. They even did a couple of electrical packages. They did the can lighting in here as well. They've been in surround sound. A lot of people do not get those. I have a lot of people reaching out and asking what kind of options and upgrades should I get? Now, I never want to tell people how to spend their money, but if it was me, I would go with structural options. You can always change flooring. You can always paint counter or cabinets. You can always change countertops, but adding something like that second slider is going to be way more challenging than changing carpet. So always uh, my two cents, I would always do electrical, sliders, those kind of things. But getting back to the tour, this room is huge. It's massive. We have a big living room. Just gonna spin around really quickly so you can see outside again. You're gonna get this pavers, you're gonna get that covered patio. You should do like a little indoor, outdoor living. But I love how like long it is. It's just open, completely open. So right here in the middle, we have dining. I want to spin really quickly just so you can get like another point of view and see what this looks like. I like the chairs here. It makes sense that they did the couch kind of like an L and then these chairs here. So you can kind of see through everything. It doesn't like make it feel so closed off. And then we'll check out over there. I'm guessing linens. And then we have our dining space and then really nice kitchen. Again, they put so many windows in here. Those two open, they put the one behind the burner. We'll get there. But right here, we have linens. There's a lot of linen in here because there's also the linen in the uh, bathroom and it's a double wide. So, Island. This looks like one of, of their more standard stones. It's maybe slightly upgraded, but I know they have thicker stones. They can do waterfall edges. They can do a lot. They have the whole overhang. They did the 42 inch uppers. Now, I don't know if that uh, window is standard. A lot of builders, when they put that window in, that is an optional upgrade. But I'm just gonna come over here really quickly. So again, you have the lowers. What do you guys think about having this awesome five burner cooktop right in front of that glass? I know me, I like to cook. I feel like I would make such a mess of that, but awesome, awesome vent hood. Now, normally you're gonna get two cabinets above it. Now they chose not to do a backsplash in here. They have the little one, but not they didn't fully cover it. 
So that's why I think this is one of their standard stones. And then they did add the lighting package underneath, which is really, really nice. I'm gonna back up just a bit. I wanted to ask everyone that question about the cooktop right in front of the window. I wanna hear, what do you have to say about the cooktop right in front of the window? Leave a comment down below. Right here, we do have our dishwasher. Awesome, awesome apron, stainless steel sink. Look at this. Here's your view. That's so strange when I'm looking at these, they're the same color, but apparently on camera, they are not. But if we spin, that would be dying and living. There's a good amount of cabinet space in here too. You have all of these drawers right here, and then we have our oven. That is a convection microwave, so you can actually use it as an oven if you'd like to. We have more uppers, and we have our refrigerator. Really, really nice home. They have nine different models in here to choose from. All of them ranging anywhere between 320 and 405, at least as of the making of this video. Prices just keep going up and up. But remember, anywhere, depending on the collection, 5% to 25% is what people are putting into the homes. So if you have any questions whatsoever, if you wanna schedule a tour to see these ones, please reach out. I'd love to answer any questions. Whether you wanna see a new home, resale, anything in between, give me a call. All my contact information is down in the description below. Again, let me know what you think about this. Would you buy into a 55 and older community? Is this your style of home? If it wasn't in a 55 and older community, would you buy this? I know some people like modern. I know some people like a more traditional style home. Let me know what you guys have to say. Again, do me that huge favor and hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe. And as always, thanks for tagging along with Tour Time with Tyler. Stay safe out there, everyone.